One time, yo. Yeah, come on, yeah, come on, yeah, come on, yeah. Yo, you know what? Come on, yeah. I might not always say the right thing, but I say what the fuck I feel on the real. What the deal? Huh? Yeah, come on. You know what I mean? Hey, you're ready for Atlanta, don't you? Yeah, I got a crib down here. I moved out. I was in Cali back in 05. Okay. You know what I mean, but. I'm ready to come back. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you, you, you still spend much time in uh, in New York? Not much, but no. I still go every now and then. The family is still there. So, so let me ask you a question. Uh, is, is Atlanta a better place for artists these days than New York? I wouldn't say that. Okay. Um, I think I think it's about the same. I mean, because it's getting just as crowded here with all the different transplants or whatever. You know what I mean? But um, me personally, I can only speak for me personally. I moved out here because it's almost like certain people in order to grow as individuals, you gotta leave the nest. Understood. You know what I'm saying? Understood. New York was like, I was like, okay, I'm 22 years old. I'm selling records. I'm still sneaky girls in the house. Because I was living with my grandmother. My mom's moved to Brooklyn. Well, after my parents, you know, I decided to go except for me. You know what I mean? So um, I'm helping her pay rent, doing this, doing that. You know what I mean? But once my mom's moved to Brooklyn, I was like, you know, I got to get out of here. Because my grandmother's West Indian. Mm -hmm. My grandmother's Seven Day Adventist. So you put that together, it's none of that going on. I mean, you know what I mean? I'm like, yo, I'm selling right here. We right, 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 right. We, 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 we talk about that on the I, uh, um, yeah. I'm not you hop on this mic, actually. I, I, cool. I saw you one night at um, the spot that used to be on Peace Tree across from whatever, and like two weeks later, I saw you again, and then like a month later, I saw you again. I'm like, life is in the A hard. Yeah, yeah. I moved down here in like 9 3. Uh, Right before Picnic died out. Yeah. <laughs> Why did it die out? Mm. <laughs> it was too hot for it. It was too hot for Mary Campbell, man. <laughs> it, was too, it was too hot for Mary Campbell. Yeah, yeah. Good boy. <laughs> and, and all these events that they ran out of here, man, like the hip hop thing that they were doing, it's like. You hey, when you started out, was, was your passion more in freestyle or were you a writer off the top? I was a freestyler. I was lazy. That's, that's how I became an ill freestyler. I, was just, I didn't feel like writing like that. But then, once we signed our contract, I learned that you can't do a whole album of freestyle. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's when I really got into the writing, like, really, really hard. The BBCRadio.com. Say, Fudge, should have never let me off the damn leash. Ha ha! Now break it down now. I am hip hop. I sleep hip hop. I'm on hip hop. I love hip hop. I love hip hop. I need hip hop. Be going round the clock, doing it non stop. And I'm flawless. Come on, Biggie, go and hit you with the horns.